What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are here bringing you guys my first ever ranked battle video for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. As of recently, just a couple hours ago, ranked battles were finally dropped for this game and we're going to be rocking out with this team that got ranked 1 in the rank ladder. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? Scroll down a little bit, click that big red subscribe button. We have daily uploads every single day over on this channel. So if you guys aren't subscribed, get on top of that. But before we get started here with today's team preview, gotta give a huge shout out to the team creator. And sorry if I mispronounce your name, Suika. Thank you so much for making this team a rental code and getting this team to rank one. That's very impressive. So congratulations to you. I will be leaving a link down in the description below to the Pokey Pace and more importantly to their channel. But uh, let's get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner, we have the one and only Murkrow. And Murkrow is going to be very uh, prominent and used a lot in ranked battles, considering it is one of the only Pokemon in this game to learn Prankster and Tailwind at the same time. So it's basically just a free Tailwind setup unless you get faked out. This Pokemon also has the Evo Light as item. It's got Foul Play, Haze, Tailwind like we already mentioned, and then its final move is going to be Taunt. So we can either set up a Tailwind or it can counter trick him with Taunt if the Pokemon does not have a Mental Herb on it. Second Pokemon is going to be Hydreigon. Hydreigon is a great special attacker. It's got Levitate, alongside with the Choice Specs as its item. Then it's got Draco Meteor, Dark Pulse, Snarl, and Terrible. So great move set. It can drop special attack, and on top of that, it can do crazy damage with Choice Specs. Middle left is going to be everyone's favorite Pokemon. We are rocking Garchomp. I know a lot of people request it, so I want to bring you guys a crazy strong team with Garchomp on it. This one has Rough Skin and a Clear Amulet as its item and ability. It's got Dragon Call, EQ, Sword Stance, and Protect, which I believe to be the best moveset for any type of guard job. It is just phenomenal. It works so well. Two stab moves, you got the Sword Stance to set up, and then obviously Protect is so good in double battles. Fourth Pokemon on today's team is going to be Arcanine, and Arcanine is going to be crazy strong all throughout, I think, every single meta. It is just such a solid support slash uh, attacker, and it just works well all around with such a great move pool. It's got Intimidate with the Citrus Berry as item, Fire Blitz, Extreme Speed, will o to burn those physical attackers, and Protect for its final move. Bottom left-hand corner is going to be another Pokemon that I think is going to be really, really strong in ranked battles. It's just going to be Breloom over here. Now, without Dynamax in the format, it is so strong considering it has Spore, and Spore is 100% sleep, and it is a Pokemon that can outspeed most. So, really the only other Pokemon that really rocks with Spore is going to be Amoongus, but the problem with that Pokemon is it is super slow. With this Pokemon, it's super fast, it can outspeed most, drop a Spore, and instantly put somebody to sleep. This one has Technician alongside with the Focus Sash as its item and ability, Rock and Bullet Seed, Mach Punch, Spore, and Rock Team for its moves. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be Golden Go, and this Pokemon is super sick. I love its design. It looks like the cinnamon stick from uh, Apple Jacks, if you guys know what I'm talking about, or the Apple Jacks commercials. It has good as gold as its ability, Life Orb as item, and then it's got a signature move, Make It Rain, Shadow Ball, Nasty Plot, and Protect for its four moves. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, rental code is at the top right hand corner. But let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Garchomp team. First match coming at you guys on the ranked ladder. We're going up against a team that I actually showcased. It is a very strong team with flip turn slash choice scarf uh, Palafin. He's got the Dragonite with that normal Terra type, Amoongus, King Gambit, who is really, really strong with great base stats, Arcanine, and Sableye. So, how should I go into this one? How should I play it? I can take speed with Murkrow. But at the same time, if he goes in with Dragonite, Dragonite can really do me dirty by Terrasalize and kind of getting after it that way. So I could also go into like Breloom right here. Mock Punches can do, do him dirty. We can also put him to sleep. So I really like Breloom here. So I'm going to lead the Breloom. I might also go in with the Arcanine. Breloom, Arcanine? I'm kind of digging that. Arcanine just does work all around. Do we think he's going to lead his Arcanine? He could lead his Palafin. Do I protect on this Pokemon? I do, so I can protect and I could just take out the Palafin if uh, he leads the Palafin, but you know, I'm going to go in with these two, we're going to roll out with them, I am going to bring Garchomp in the back end, considering I really like Garchomp, and then I could go, actually Golden Go's not bad here, Golden Go's not bad at all, did I go Garchomp, Golden Go? I'm going to go Golden Go, just due to uh, that ghost typing, I'm really digging it, so we're going to lock it in, we're going to lock it down, we're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in our first ever ranked battle. But I was just looking at like the rank situation or like the uh, like how the ranking actually works and the screens have been looking good like they updated all this hopefully like glitches are gone and stuff but the interface looks 10 times better than it did in Sword and Shield it's just looking slick it's looking real good but it looks like they're using the same rank kind of like thing like you got you got uh, your tier 1 you gotta go through Pokeball tiers up to Great Ball tier the Ultra Ball tier the Master Ball tier and then you get your ranks that's what it's kind of looking like but he's gonna end up leading the Dragonite alongside with uh 
alongside with this save line. Do we think he's going to fake me out? It is definitely an option that he's going to fake me out. I could go for a mock punch, thinking that he's going to try slice here. But you know, I'm going to go for a spore right into the Dragonite slot. And I'm going to try to burn it here as well. Actually, you can't burn it and do that. Uh, I could just flare blitz. Hmm. I'm just going to flare blitz straight into the save line slot. Let's see what he does here. He's going to go for the fake out, and I think he's just going to take me out, right? Correct. Makes the most sense. Flare blitz going to fire. Can you eat this up? I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about my Breedlum because we know he's coming in. Oh, we get a burn on the save line, which I really like. I do like that. And I think the Dragonite is just going to take me out with a with an air move, right? I think that's happening. He's going to go for a fire punch. That's going to take me out. Yeah, so we die there. That thing is choice banned, though. It is choice banned, so we know he's going to be only choice into a fire move at this point. So he's choice to that fire move. Um, I could go in with Golden Go, but I feel like we should go in with you. Because you should be able to outspeed that Dragonite all day. Correct? 169 speed. Yeah, you're faster than the Breedloom, and the Breedloom is faster than the Dragonite. So I think going in with you is going to be the play. So yeah, we'll go into Garchomp here. Um, I can just Flare Butts and take out the Sableye if I want to. And kind of just go after this, uh, this what's called, this Dragonite. What other Pokemon does he have in the back that can really eat up a, a Dragon move? Nothing really, nothing really. So yeah, I'm just going to pop a Dragon Call in this slot. My best bet. And then just go into a straight Flare Butts into the uh, Sableye slot again. Let's see, he's probably changing his typing. Just so he can survive, or he's swapping. But he's choice banned into the fire punch, so. We'll see what he wants to do from here. We shall see. I could go for an EQ next turn, too. If he does, uh, switch. Because then I could thrash in the ground if I want to. Could be pretty good. Could definitely be pretty good. But the communication is taking a while. This dude's waiting to pick a turn. Let's see what he does. I'm just going to outspeed. I'm going to Dragon Claw and does not KO. That does not KO. That kind of hurts that that doesn't KO. We're going to take out you and he's forced to go into a Fire Punch. So that's fine by me. That is fine by me. Let's see how this one plays out. So he's forced to go into a Fire Punch. He's obviously going to go, go into my Garchomp here. Should be able to soak pretty well. And do not me. Do not burn me. We have Rough Skin. Does Rough Skin KO? Rough Skin KO? I did not see his health bar. I don't think it did, but I do have extreme speed to actually take that out. So I could just straight up extreme speed him and kind of get after this battle with my Garchomp. But he's going to go into King Gambit. And at this point, I might just sacrifice my, what's it called? I might just sacrifice my... I might just sacrifice my, what's it called? My Arcanine at this point. Because if I can extreme speed, take that out, hop an EQ and take out the King Gambit... This could be really good, but I feel like he has to, like, terrestrialize, right? But you know, I'm gonna do this. I'm sacrificing my boy here. I'm sacrificing my boy right here. I am sacrificing my Arcanine for this. For the win, Arcanine. For the win. For the for the rank battles, we have to sacrifice you. It's just the play we have to make. So we're gonna terrestrialize our Garchomp. We're gonna make him ground type so this can do double damage. Hopefully he's not terrestrializing that King Gambit, or at least just staying that typing. Because I need his EQ to be super effective here. We need his EQ to be super effective. So, we're straight up ground typing now. Let's see how this one plays. He does not Thrasilize. We take out the Dragonite. And now I'm going to be able to pop an EQ. Which should be able to KO. Did we outspeed him though? We can go for a Sucker Punch. Oh, and he was going into Arcanine with Sucker Punch. EQ is going to pop. I'm sorry, Arcanine. Can you eat this up, Arcanine? Probably not. I think we KO both of them here. Let's see how this one plays out here. We do not. Did we KO Arcanine? We don't KO the King Gambit, but we KO our Arcanine. <laughs> that hurts the soul. That hurts the soul. I do have Golden Go, though, ready to rock out here. He is... I think he's pretty fast, too. Let's see. No, he's not. He's not that fast. So we know a Sucker Punch is probably coming in here. I think I just protect and pop an EQ. I think that has to be my play. Let's see who his final Pokemon is going to be. Let's see. It's going to be Arcanine. I'm cool with that. I can pop EQs all day. I could pop EQ all day. And I have clear amulet, so my attack is, uh, doesn't drop on my boy. So Garchomp's just going to pop another EQ. I have to protect my Golden Go because it is super effective onto it. And if I could just take out one of these guys, I feel like we could be sitting in such a good spot. But Golden Go is looking sick. He has a little gimme ghoul chest on his side, on his little belt. He looks like he's just ready to go. But he ends up protecting his Arcanine. I'm fine with that. I'm really fine with that. And I'm just going to protect my Golden Go. And what's he going for with King Gambit? Probably Sucker Punch into Golden Go. No, he goes into Garchomp, which is fine. Oh, wow. That actually did a lot of damage. I did a bit too much damage. 
He's going to get some rough skin damage. EQ is going to pop here. And I think it might just die to that. Yeah, it just straight up died to that. That's totally fine. That is totally fine. I think he might have extreme speed. I think he has extreme speed. He might be able to take out my Garchomp. Do I protect the Garchomp and just start attacking with Golden Go? I don't think extreme speed could take me out, but I'm just going to Dragon Call this thing. And I'm just going to start popping some Shadow Balls. Let's do it. Let's get after it. I may, maybe I should have just popped an EQ. Maybe I should have just popped an EQ, but I just feel like Dragon Call is going to be a player. He didn't intimidate us, but it didn't really matter. He's Terrasalizing, probably in a fire type, right? Or does it have a different typing? Let's see what's Terrasalizing into. Fire typing, okay. So we still could have EQ'd, but I think he's just doing this for the damage output. He just wants it for the damage output. Dragon Call is going to fly through here. How much damage are we doing? About half. Does Golden go outspeed? Oh, I guess for Snarl. And that's fine. That should bring us into a winning spot. That should bring us into a winning spot. We're going to pop a nice little Shadow Ball here. Bop. And Golden go does some mean damage. So we get some mean damage. He cannot take us both out. So at this point, we just pop another Dragon Claw. And we pop another Shadow Ball. And there it is. GG's first ever ranked battle in Scarlet and Violet. And we come out on top using Garchomp. And Golden Go, you gotta love it. There it is. Dragon Call flies out here. And we're 1 0. Let's get to pushing those ranks, hopping into our second battle. Let's look to go back to back. Second match coming at you guys. And we're going up against a Slush Rush C Titan team. He also has. Can anybody set the hail? I do not know. I don't think any of these Pokemon can set hail unless they. Or snow in this example. Unless they actually use a move. I don't think there's a snow setter here. So that's gonna be pretty good for us. He has a Slow King. The uh, C Titan, which is a really cool Pokemon that I want to showcase, alongside Frostlass, and then Amoongus and Rotom Heat. And then last but not least, he's got the Grim Snarl. But how should I play this one? I feel like speed's going to be a huge factor. I could just go in with these two, right? I think this is a solid lead for us. And I know he has Grim Snarl, but I could also just uh, Terrasalize and start dropping EQs all day. The EQ is going to be super effective up against a few of these guys. So I'm going to lead them too. I am going to be bringing Arcanine in the back. I kind of like Arcanine. I kind of want something to counter up onto the road time, but we don't have too much. We don't have any water Pokemon. Arcanine's going to be good. And then last but not least, I feel like choice spec Pokemon right here. A little bit of Hydreigon action. I'm curious if I should take out the Arcanine here and go in with more so like Golden Go. And I kind of like that a bit better because a lot of these Pokemon are going to be special attacking. And Golden Go can actually get some work done. So I'm digging it all day. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number two. But yo, rank battles? It feels good to be back on the rank battle, right? It definitely feels good. It just came out today. We grabbed ourselves a first win in our first battle, and we're looking to grab ourselves a second win in our second battle. So hopefully we get this, and hopefully you guys are enjoying the content all around. He's going to end up leading Slow King and Amuga. So Trick Room is definitely an option. Trick Room is definitely an option. I think that thing learns Oblivious, so I might just want to... get on Rage Powder. We already know that. Um, I could taunt Amoongus for future, future plays. But I'm going to set up a Swords Dance here. I feel like setting up the Swords Dance is probably our play. Because, yeah, he's going to Rage Powder and set up the Trick Room. I kind of saw this from a mile away. So by taunting this Pokemon, he can't spore me later in the Trick Room. And on top of that, we're going to get off a of Swords Dance. Because if I would have just attacked the Slow King, he would have been able to eat it up and set up Trick Room regardless. So might as well set up the Swords Dance. And Swords Dance looks sick in this game. I'm digging it. Now there's the Trick Room. We saw that from 18,600 miles away. And that's a fine turn from us. I don't really mind it too much. They do a foul play to kind of rip into this thing. So I'm just going to foul play and I'm just going to freely EQ. I could Terrasalize here. I'm not going to Terrasalize because that thing is a water Pokemon. And I do not get, feel like going straight ground. So he's going to energy ball on me. Yeah, so straight ground would have kind of done me dirty. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why did Amoongus do so much damage to me? Why did that Amoongus do so much damage to me? A little bit too much damage there. A little bit too much damage with that energy ball. We're able to pop an EQ. Can we get some mean damage off on these guys? We KO the Slow King. Do some mean damage over onto the uh, Amoongus. But yo, what was that damage for? And what item do you have? Oh, leftovers. Okay, so this thing's ripping with leftovers. I'm kind of fine with that. Um, good thing we didn't Thrasalize. The Titan's gonna come out here. Is this thing slow? How slow are you, C-Titan? Yo, this thing's huge! Wait a minute, show me C-Titan again. 
This thing is ridiculously big. Oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> it's huge. Such cool Pokemon. Um, I'm just going to go Fat Point into Sea Titan here. And I guess I'll protect this turn. Try to waste out Trick Room as much as I can. But yo, Sea Titan is sick. I think he's such a cool Pokemon. And I think we can also see a Terrasalization on his end right now. Uh, but I guess not. We'll protect the Garchomp here. We'll try to waste out some of these Trick Room turns. He's going to go for an Energy Ball. And I think Sea Titan's going to go right after Murkrow and take him out. I mean, Murkrow has Evo Light. Has a slight chance of eating this up. Oh, Fat Blade comes out first. Yo, dude, why does Murkrow do so much damage? <laughs> he does so much damage with Fat Blade. I was so surprised at how much damage that Amoogus did too with Energy Ball. He goes for an Ice Spinner. Can we eat that up? We can eat that up. That's huge. That's big time eats. That's big time eats. That's big time eat. So we're just going to go for another foul play right into you. And I'm just going to pop an EQ. I'm just going to pop an EQ. Why do, I, why do I always think that ground's super effective on the ice? I always think that. It's the, it's the other way around. I always get it mixed up. But not bad turns from us. We took out a Pokemon. He's going to protect the C-Titan. I'm kind of with that. As long as that Amoogus goes after the Murkrow. Nope. That's a smart call. Smart play by him. Smart play by him. Um, who do I bring out at this point? I mean, I have to taunt the uh, Moogus this turn. I have to taunt the Moogus. The Moogus has to be taunted. We cannot have him in Trick and put my Pokemon to sleep. It's just not allowed, right? It's just not allowed. We took out the Slow King. See, Titan's ready to go down here. Um, Moogus shakes off the taunt. We're definitely taunting again. I could go in the Golden Go. But I think Golden Go is a bit slower here. Let's see its speed. 109. Oh, it can go up and down. Why couldn't I do it earlier? And Golden Go, that's a good speed for right now. Because we are going to be slower than that Sea Titan, I believe. So I'm going to swap into Golden Go. I could go for a Make It Rain here. But I might just go for Shadow Ball. Because I think Shadow Ball should be able to pick up the KO. Actually, I don't know. I do have Hydreigon. Who do, who, does, who do we think he has the back end? Frostlass, maybe? Maybe Frostlass? I think it's going to be like Rotom Heat. Hmm. Definitely, obviously, I taunt this Pokemon. And then I gotta go into a Make It Rain. I gotta go into a Make It Rain. I think it hits a po Pokemon straight across from I think I was reading up on it. I think it hits straight across. And he's gonna Terrasalize. It's a smart Terrasalize there. Gonna be Ice. It's still Ice. No, it switches into Ground. Oh. 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 We don't like that. We don't like that one bit. Taunt's gonna come out here. We're gonna keep this thing taunted. Maybe he predicted that he might be dropping an energy ball into me. Let's see what he does. He was going for a spore. So good taunt for, uh, from our end. We're gonna drop a make it rain. I think he takes out my golden go. And wow. So it hits both Pokemon. That's cool. That's sick. I thought it only hit one. I thought it only hit one. That is a really good move. He's gonna go for an EQ. That's totally fine. So he's gonna take out my golden go. I'm fine with that. Murkrow's still here. I can set up a Tailwind if I want to. And he, oh, yo, he didn't take me out. He did not take me out. But now he outspeeds us. Now he outspeeds us. He's going to send out Frostlass as his final Pokemon. Uh, I think I just ha I have to set up a Tailwind here. I have to go Tailwind, right? Tailwind set up and go for another Make It Rain. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Tailwind comes out here. We played out that Trick Room perfectly. Perfectly, we played out that Trick Room. We were able to survive that ground move. Make It Rain's going to come out here. And almost pick up the double KO. Was that a free focus ash? Or no, it actually has the focus ash. So Frost Lash got the focus ash. Golden Go doing work in battle number two. We love it. Same thing with Garchomp. We made a great play in the beginning to actually set us up for the win. We knew he was going Trick Room, so we taunted the Moongus just so we couldn't spore around the Trick Room. And we set up a Sword Dance with our Garchomp just to get off some bigger damage and pose a bigger threat. But he ends up dropping an Icy Win. Picking up the double KO. I'm going to be able to bring out Hydreigon, even if he has Ice Shard for first turn priority. We're still going to be able to soak it up and uh, win this battle. And I still have Terrasalize. And I'll go Terrasalize just in case, right? I think like it's ranked battles and we have to play a little bit on the smarter side. Because we still have our Terrasalization. So we might as well Terra type into that poison. Just, just play it safe. We have to play it safe here. We have to. And we have to go for our highest accuracy move that's going to hit this Pokemon. So we're going to Terrasalize here. Dark Pulse, 100% accuracy. Let's go into it. Let's go into it. There we go. Dark Pulse going to fly. It's going to be GG's. Is it cancel battle? 
No, he stays in here. But yeah, we have to thrash slide. You, ne you never know. You never know. Maybe he goes for an ice shard, gets a crit, dodges the move, and then goes, gets another crit. Like, there, it's it's a possibility. So we have to play it safe here. We're going to thrash slide in that poison type. And we just straight up outspeed. So Frost Slice goes down here. That is going to be GG's. We start off 2-0. In the rank series, let's hop into our third and final battle. Look to get another win with the best guard chomp team out there. Two battles in, and I already ranked up. We're two and zero on the rank ladder, and I'm sitting at tier two right now. Hopefully, we grab ourselves a win here in battle number three and rank up even more. But we're hopping or going up against another guard chomp team with Gardevoir and Scizor. I feel like those three Pokemon are insanely strong. He's also rocking the Arcanine just like us. Rotom Wash, which is an absolute beast. And then he also has the Moongus and Arcanine. I feel like Breloom's going to be solid here just for that Rotom Wash, but I don't think I should lead that Pokemon, right? I just don't think that's a leadable Pokemon. Uh, I could go in with Murkrow. I feel like Tailwind here again is going to be solid. So I might want to do that. I might want to go Murkrow alongside with... I mean, he could go Gardevoir as lead, but if he does go Gardevoir, I could Terrasilize. My guard chop and kind of go from there. Or I could go in with you. I kind of like you. I kind of like you. I kind of like the choice specs right off the rip. But I couldn't always terrestrialize you. I'm kind of liking that. I'm kind of liking going in with Hydreigon. Then potentially bringing Garchomp. I mean, Arcanine could be good here too. Do I go Arcanine instead of Garchomp? I just feel like we... Or Arcanine instead of Breloom. I just feel like we need Breloom. I don't think we need Arcanine as much. Because there's a chance he doesn't even bring in Scizor. Looking at my team, I don't think he's going to bring in Scizor. I'm going to double down on the Dragons. I'm going to look to get rid of this Gardevoir. Because if I get rid of this Gardevoir, I feel like we can really be thriving in this battle. So we'll see. I do feel like Gardevoir might be the lead. And again, I can just Thrasilize into Poison type with my Choice Specs. My Choice Spec, uh, what is that Pokemon called? Hydreigon? But yo, dude, that dude's trainer card was hilarious. It was just a ghastly staring into your soul. <laughs> <laughs> That's too funny. Let's see. He goes up Moogus and Garchomp. Okay, so Rage Powder can definitely pop out here. Um, huh. Hmm. Tailwind's probably a play, right? Tailwind's definitely a play. And I still think we Terrasilize and we go into the Dark Pulse. I mean, we do have the Terra Blast, but Dark Pulse will do more damage. We really just want to change our typing. And I'm trying to go after Garchomp. I mean, I think a Rage Powder comes in here. I could see a Terrasilization from him as well. But yeah, I just feel like Terrasilizing is great here. Let's see what he does. And we're going to be able to set up a Tailwind. So Tailwind's going to be good for us. But a Poison Terras type. I like how it looks. It looks like a, it looks like a Buccaneer Pirate kind of flag, right? Like a Jolly Roger pirate symbol. <laughs> the skull and crossbones. It looks sick. I like it. So we're terrestrializing into poison. He's going to rage powder. I mean, I kind of saw that coming. It's just pretty obvious. It's just, it's just a simple, easy play. Tailwind's going to come out here from us. We're going to take a little bit of speed, and I think he's going to go for the dragon move into me. And with this choice spec damage, we should be able to do a nice amount of damage on this thing. Yeah, half. That's lovely. We don't like that. Not one bit. I don't like that one bit. Not one bit. Not one bit. If this Dark Pulse can take out the Moongus, I would love for this Foul Play to slide over onto that Garchomp because this could be some big time damage for us. But yeah, Rage Powder, I feel like, has to come out here again. I think Rage Powder has to come out here. We have speed. We have speed. I'm kind of hoping Rage Powder doesn't come out here just so I can guarantee this Foul Play getting off onto this Garchomp. It could be really, really big for us. See what he does. He's gonna Terrasilize here as well. So we need this foul play to connect. Because this foul play can do some big damage on a plus two guard chomp. Can we terrasilize it into ground, maybe? He's gonna go in the ground. I mean you can't hit neither of my Pokemon with a ground move, so I'm kinda hoping he goes into an EQ, but I think he just wants to change typing. Rage Powder flies out here again. Yo, Dark Pulse, I need you. I need you KO in here. I need you KO in here. I need you KO in here. Let's go. Let's go, Hydreigon. Big time KO. Foul play is gonna slide over here and Little little bird Murkrow over here is gonna get some work done. Murkrow! Murkrow, chill on him, dude. Murkrow's so strong. Rockside's gonna fly here. That's gonna take out my Murkrow. But all my Pokemon are gonna be able to outspeed this this little dude. That's huge, yo. Murkrow getting some work done. So I feel like Garchomp's gotta be our play, correct? Makes the most sense. 
and yeah, because we can EQ freely with Levitate Hydreigon on the field. Yo, Murkrow, Murkrow, dude. Now I know why everybody's like raving about Murkrow. It's super strong. It's super broken right now. I wouldn't say it's broken, but it's just insanely powerful with the foul play and the ability to actually go into a uh, the ability to go into a foul play and have Prankster Tailwind. It's just ridiculously huge. But he's gonna send out Arcanine. I have clear amulet and my other Pokemon special attacking. So we're just gonna freely pop an EQ. And I'm just gonna double down with the Dark Pulse into the Arcanine slot. The speed's all on our side. It's all on our side. And this battle's looking looking money for us. It's looking like a GG in a can kind of thing. But yo, double dragon? Double dragon squad? I'm loving it. I'm loving it. This is looking like the best guard champ team at the moment. I was just looking at it straight up and I saw it got rank one. And looking at all the Pokemon, I was just like, wow, this team's looking a little bit too strong. It's looking a little bit too strong. But he's going to end up going in the road time. I'm kind of cool with that. It's really not that big of a deal. I have Mach Punch in the back end. He's going to go for an extreme speed. And we can survive another one of those. EQ's going to fly. And I'm kind of hoping that EQ can actually KO this Arcanine. Because if it does, my Dark Pulse slides over. So can EQ KO? It does not. Comes close, but we'll end up going into this Dark Pulse. And Dark Pulse should be able to pick up the KO after his Citrus Berry, right? Is that Citrus? It was a figgy. Ooh. Can you KO? You can. That's some big time damage. We like you. We like you. Okay, so Tailwind has one more turn. I think he double protects here, right? Correct? And if he double protects, so I just hard swap in the Breloom. He's got to double protect. Again, Breloom can just straight up Mach Punch. I'm not worried about the Guard Charm. I'm going to double down into Rotom here. He does not protect. He does not protect any Pokemon. Wow, we could have just taken out that Guard Charm, but he does, he does, he's not protecting any of the Pokemon. That Citrus Berry gives it a nice chunk of HP. Dark Pulse is flying. And yo, Hydreigon. Get <laughs> some work done with that choice specs. That's big time, and that's going to be GG's. That is good game. That's good game, kind sir. We're able to soak that anyway. Roughskin's gonna KO it. Roughskin for the win, yo. Double Dragon in battle number three. Cleans everything up and just does so much work. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 3 0 with the best Garchomp team. What a set of battles for today's video and what a way to get started on the rank ladder. Going 3 0 and pushing our rank up. Hopefully, we'll be in the highest tier. Hopefully, it's master tier in this game. So hopefully we'll be in there very, very soon and bring you guys some even better battles. But yo, this team right here, I'm telling you guys, rent it for the rank season. It is absolutely amazing. You have a lot of different Pokemon and a lot of way to counter up the meta. You got the Murkrow to set up Tailwind Control. You have Taunt to kind of counter up on Trick Room teams. We actually got to showcase that in a, in a battle today, which is really, really cool. And then you got the other Pokemon like Hydreigon, Garchomp, and Golden Go to do a lot of big damage and pick up a lot of big KOs. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.